We fell in love with Hilary Duff as an awkward preteen on Lizzie McGuire. But when the hit TV series ended, the relatable star seemed to disappear from the spotlight. Sure, there was the occasional tween movie and a guest spot on Law & Order SVU, but that's nothing compared to her Disney days. So what has Duff been doing? We've got the dish. Mommy Time In March 2012, Duff and then-husband Mike Comrie welcomed a son Luca. A 24-year-old Duff tweeted the great news, Wow, I can't believe I have a baby! But the glow of new motherhood faded a bit when Duff realized the effect that being a young mom can have on a Hollywood career. I feel like I was judged for having a baby too soon and getting married too soon, and now I'm pigeonholed for being, like, a mom. Duff explained to Entertainment Tonight that while being a mother is wonderful, it's also, quote, very isolating. You put so much pressure on yourself, and it's really kind of a lonely place to be, so I think women and families need to boost each other up instead of, you know, bully one another. In order to manage her stardom and motherhood, Duff now says she has no problem taking breaks from Tinseltown. Speaking with Redbook in 2017, she said, I'm not working right now, and at first I stressed about that like, oh, I shouldn't stay still this long. And that's ridiculous. I have a child. It's totally fine to not be slammed all the time. It feels really good to not be on someone else's schedule. Besides Luca's. I'm basically his chauffeur. In the studio In the early 2000s, Duff's singing career took off. Her albums Metamorphosis and Most Wanted both climbed to the top of the Billboard 200 chart. In 2007, her Dignity album reached number three on the chart, but it would be almost a decade before her next album of new material was released. Sales of 2015's Breathe In, Breathe Out were lackluster compared to her previous efforts. Duff told BuzzFeed in 2017, I don't have any plans for new music or tour this year, but there's always next year. Mickey Moment Duff found herself on the awkward side of a viral moment when video footage of her unenthusiastically air-drawing Mickey Mouse ears for a Disney Channel promo hit the web, which possibly rubbed one or two producers the wrong way. After the video made the rounds online, Duff opened up about the now infamous moment to BuzzFeed. They made us do it like 900 times, and I think I lost all personality at that point. Plus, I was like a pubescent teen. I was like, what are they making me do? This is invisible. It's like Rit Hillary with a lot of attitude. She was a good sport about it and even recreated the moment for the interview. Did I nail it or should I do it again? One more time. Writing novels. In 2011, Duff published a young adult novel called Elixir, which became a New York Times bestseller that Duff turned into a trilogy with installments devoted and true. She hopes the books will become movies one day, telling MTV News that she wrote the first book with a cinematic adaptation in mind, adding, There have been a few people interested in buying the rights, which is very flattering. But if the right person came along, I definitely hope that would happen. Whoops. In 2016, Duff dressed up as a pilgrim and her then-boyfriend personal trainer Jason Walsh dressed up as a Native American. Together, they attracted the outrage of the internet. Duff issued a heartfelt apology, tweeting in part, I am so sorry to people I offended with my costume. For Halloween in 2017, Duff decided to go way more low-key, avoiding any big Hollywood costume parties and opting for just a pair of bunny ears and some drawn-on whiskers. Helping Others it's clear that one area Duff traded the spotlight willingly for was her philanthropy. According to Seventeen, Duff has been working with Blessings in a Backpack, an organization that provides food to American children since 2005. She started feeding people once she began touring, when the organization USA Harvest came to her and said, You're selling out concerts like 20,000 people a night. If you just asked people to bring one can of food, do you know how many people that would feed? Duff also serves as a charter member of Kids with a Cause, an organization that aims to find solutions for children who suffer from poverty, lack of education, or health-related issues. Public Feud According to Pop Sugar, the feud between Duff and Lindsay Lohan all started with Duff's on-again, off-again relationship with pop star Aaron Carter, who initially ditched Duff for Lohan. This led to a curiously passive-aggressive girl fight during which Duff and Lohan crashed each other's movie premieres and shaded each other in interviews. In 2017, Duff said that she and Lohan have put the feud to rest, telling people, We are both adults and whatever happened, happened when we were young. It's over. Though Duff avoided the questionable choices Lohan made later in life, it's possible that back in the early 2000s, Duff lost some business opportunities over her real-life Mean Girl image. TV Land If you haven't seen anything from Duff, you probably haven't been watching the TV Land channel, where she's worked on the millennial-focused dramedy Younger. Despite earning critical praise from major outlets such as The Washington Post, who described Duff's series as part Sex and the City and part Gilmore Girls, Younger flew under the radar, especially at first. Now that seasons 1 through 3 are streaming on Hulu, there will soon be an all new, potentially more youthful and more Duff acquainted audience for Younger to reach. Thanks for watching! Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.